Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Viktor Korchno and Helgi Gretasan that was played in Reykjavik in 2003. Korchno had white pieces and he started with d4. d5, c4, c6, knight to f3, knight to f6 and now knight to c3 is a very popular move. And then black would capture pawn on c4. In our game we have e3 and if black takes now then bishop takes on c4. So instead of taking pawn on c4 black played bishop to f5. Knight to c3, e6 and now knight to h4 attacking bishop. Bishop to g6 is the most popular move in this position. Black played bishop to e4. If a knight takes bishop on e4, this is possible, then black even can recapture with d-pawn threatening g5. So Victor Korchner played f3, attacking bishop, bishop to g6, queen to b3, attacking pawn on b7, Queen to c7 was played, queen to b6 is also playable, but we have a queen to c7 in our game, bishop to d2, knight from b to d7, pawn takes pawn, e takes on d5, and Korchnoi cast at queen side. b5, attacking. Perhaps it was better to take care of the king. Sometimes black castles in this position, but then after e4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on g6, and after pawn takes, pawn takes pawn on e4, and white is standing somewhat better. We have b5, knight takes bishop on g6, black of course capture towards the center, e4, opening position, trying to catch black king, knight to b6, and now king to b1, safety first. a6, so if pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, b5, pawn is defended. g3, what is this doing? Well, white is planning bishop to f4 attacking queen bishop to e7, of course bishop to d6 doesn't work because of e5. So bishop to e7 was played, bishop to f4 attacking queen, queen to b7, bishop to d3 connecting rooks, and black castle queen side. Rook to c1, placing rook on the same file where black king is, and black thought knight to c4 will solve the problem. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, it is white to move and to play a killer move. If you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move for white in this position. Ready? Have you considered this? Knight takes on d5 and black recaptured with queen. Surely he was considering taking it with rook, but then the bishop takes knight, and after pawn takes, rook takes on c4, and then perhaps bishop to c5, and pawn takes bishop. So black didn't like this variation. He didn't like to capture with knight neither because then bishop takes on c4 again, pawn takes bishop, and check, and after knight to c7, rook takes knight winning. So black recaptured with queen. And now very interesting move again. Rook takes on c4. 
Pawn takes rook. Bishop takes on c4, attacking queen. Queen to b7. Bishop to e6. And black resigned. Possible continuation is pawn takes bishop, rook to c1 check, and after king to d7, queen takes queen. Or again in this position, instead of taking bishop, rook to d7, making room for king to escape. And then rook to c1 check and after king to d8 queen takes queen rook takes queen and there is checkmate in one can you see it rook to c8 check mate that was a very nice game by Viktor Kochner wasn't it and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.